evening, Brett. Yes, authorities say the suspect admitted to breaking into Pelosi's house through the back door with a hammer. He is now facing two federal charges, one count of assault of an immediate family member of a U.S. official and one count of attempted kidnapping of a U.S. official. If convicted, he could face up to 50 years in prison on both charges. Police say 42-year-old David DePoppy broke into Pelosi's home, woke him up, and demanded to see his wife. When Mr. Pelosi told him she wouldn't be home for a few days, DePoppy said he would wait. Mr. Pelosi was able to slip into the bathroom and call 911. When police showed up, authorities say he ran to the door and grabbed onto the hammer that DePoppy was holding. Police say when they arrived, DePoppy gained full control of that hammer and swung it right into Pelosi's head. DePoppy was arrested immediately. Now, during a Mirandized and recorded interview, the complaint states that DePoppy said he was going to hold Nancy hostage and talk to her. If Nancy were to tell the truth, he would let her go, and if she lied, he was going to break her kneecaps. He also said he viewed her as the leader of the pack of lies told by the Democratic Party. He told police that by breaking her kneecaps, she would have to be willed into Congress to face the consequences of her actions. Police say they found DePoppy's backpack at the scene, which contained a rope, a roll of tape, a hammer, and rubber gloves. Authorities determined that DePoppy was living in a garage of a residence near Berkeley, also per an I source to Poppy is in the U.S. illegally as a longtime visa overstay. Now, authorities say Paul Pelosi did not know the suspect and that they were the only two in the house at the time of the attack, that there was not a third person. Also, Mr. Pelosi is expected to fully recover from his injuries.